بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وتحنن وتمنى على الحبيب المصطفى رب القلوب ودوائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وتحنن وتمنى على الحبيب المصطفى بقدر ذرات التراب والرمل والحصن وجريان الماء والهوى نحمده ونستعين به إلى أن نلقاه وهو راض عنا غير غربان الحمد لله الذي يجمعنا وإياكم في هذا المكان المبارك الطاهر الشريف الذي ندعو الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعل تجمعنا تجمعا مباركا مرحوما مرزوقا وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا مرحوما إن شاء الله Alhamdulillah, we are here in this month, the Muharram al-Haram. The month Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say for the Muslim and Mu'min through the Sayyidina Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said, Hurma alaykum dima'akum وأعراضكم كحرمة يومكم هذا في بلدكم هذا. They say meaning the Muslim to the Muslim, they can't fight and they can't Muslim kill to the other Muslims. This is the Harams and you will become kafir again. Whoever he want to kill, killing or they kill. Because both they are the same thing. So this month it should be a month of the peace month. To be quiet. I do my fast. Any day I want to do, I do my ibadah, I do my thing. And everybody, maybe we have hair, we went in this month also. And uh, Mecca al Mukarrama, been there for the Umrah. And it was uh, very urgent or a good invitation. Without arrangement, but the arrangement it was by the Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jalani and the invitation from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything, even there is no visa of Amrah, but Alhamdulillah, visa of business done. We're going for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala business. When we've been there, we reach Wednesday morning. The person he have invited me before and they say whenever you have to come to Mecca, try to be in Muharram or Shaban in the time of Ghuslul Ka'bah, washing inside and the cleaning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala house. And his name is Abdul Qadir Shabi. And he was in the hospital, a little bit sick. Before I reached uh, to the Mecca, he passed. In this month, meaning he passed about three weeks. Who come? His son, his brother, younger brother. His name is Saleh. And his son, Abdul Rahman. And I have very good relation with them because the person, his name is Abdul Rahman, he's a Sunni. And you have seen in his dream Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani twice. When I been there and I saw him in the Wednesday, I found him. Then himself, he came to me to the hotel. And we started to talk and talk. And I said to him now, I know in the Saturday, every morning after Fajr, the door will be open and I want to go inside. This is Sheikh, everybody applied from one month and this is Prime Minister, some ministers and diplomatic and very hard and you are Iraqi and you are Sunni and this is different belief. But I said, don't worry, inshallah, I have 
invitation to be inside. And just take my passport and inshallah will be alright. In the end, he is angry. <coughs> and it was Thursday then. Thursday night. <coughs> then he take uh, my wakas, okay, bring passport, my copy. Then when he give him my passport copy, I say, look, these two people is come with me. I think it's shame. I go alone and they will be waiting outside. Then they say, they have a copy. I say, they will make it now. <laughs> Then they make copy. We sitting in the lobby next day, Friday. Somebody from India is come. Uh, he been with us in Baghdad. Then he say, please, Sheikh, I want. Then I phone him. I say, look, he's uh, sick and he want to go with me. He say, okay, send me by WhatsApp. And the other one with his son. He was planning to go, but also the problem same for Abdul Qadir he passed. Then we send his passport for WhatsApp. But he said, I'm trying because uh, time is very short. And till now, there is no bus come for the people, uh, two groups, 32 people and 35 people. And they are all diplomatic and the government, different, different countries. Because they are now, they allow from every country two, three people maybe through the embassy. And always, the Prime Minister, Ministers come. And they have to come out of the governor, the Prince of Mecca. He is the son of the King of Mecca. Anyway, he was waiting uh, in the Friday night, Saturday early morning. And he have to reply at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12, 12.30. After midnight, still no answer. Then, I said to Shahab and Waqas, I'm going now to my room and inshallah if there's any news I will let you know. So I left his room, I'm going to my room before I reach left. Then my mobile ring, he called me. And they say, Mabruk, Mabruk, Mabruk. <laughs> yeah, I know in my heart everything okay, but he's late for him. It's only his delay for him. But inshallah, even I'm saying we will go inside, don't worry. Because we came from very far place and it was arranged by the Sultan al Awliya. And he keeps saying to me, You are Sheikh, son of the Sheikh, and Wali, son of the Wali. He keep repairing this and he said, I'm coming to you. The bus half issue, and I can't believe what happened because they issue only your six bus. And other people, no issue. And I'm coming to you, to your room now, after half an hour. I will give him, and he tell us. Then I said to him, okay, when he, I said to him, look, I'm a Sunni. I'm the love of the awliya and the salihin and Ali Bayt al -Rasul. And that door, I have to go first one, because I'm the blood of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I have to go by my Qadiri Tawfi. The Qadiri Tawfi. Then he said to me, don't worry, your dad, Sheikh Abdul Qadir, with you, your grand, then go. So I went there, I, but everyone is Tawfi like uh, Saudi designs, yani, Rumal and with that black one. What they call? You say a gov. Anyway. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, I've been inside. They give time for everybody five minutes, but they said when you go inside, you will see me and you will stay me. And inshallah ta'ala, you spend how much you want to spend. When I went inside, he watched me and they said to the everybody, Oh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Gailani son, but Sheikh Abdul Qadir Gailani, he said. He told to his cousin and his brother, and I was uh, surprised. This family, they have uh, very good respect for the Sheikh Abdul Qadir Gailan. After this, he took me to the place where the Sayyidina Rasul, he went inside and he prayed. 
they make it white marble. Small. All the floor, it was green, only the small place white, it was that place Nishan for the Sayyidina Rasulia. So I pray there, <laughs> take my time. They don't allow anyone to play, you know these people, but because of their uh, certain aspect to Allah, they give them. So inside they are controlled. I finish, then I start to talk with him. But somebody is talking with me and they say, why you not to pray to the every corner? Then I say, let me pray to the every corner. So every corner inside, I pray. After this, somebody, they say in my hair, I hear him, but I can't see him. But they say, why you not see the door of Baba Tawba? Take me to the room. So I went, I see the door. And again, they say, why not look to the ceiling? I look to the ceiling, the chadar of, same chadar and the green of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And there is a lot of, uh, like, uh, <coughs> candle they put inside, blanket. It was very old, blanket. Uh, Ottoman times, Ottoman times. And uh, after this, there's also three stands, pillars, pillars. three <coughs> pillars, and all around white marble, and the top they become green. And Agar it was a nice kushbu. Alhamdulillah, we will. Wakasi start to clean by him because he have this duty that time. Huh? So he have all the cloth, the white cloth when they clean, they cut. So he to clean. He have nine pieces, but he clean for seven pieces. For the seven pieces. Anyway, when we went inside somebody, it was very spiritual weather. It is not a chance to everybody go inside, but it is the arrangement and the invitation from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And somebody, you say, my God, how much I will have money, I will give you all my money, just give me a chance to be inside. Meaning, you have been to the final destination. In that destination, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala house. Somebody, when they invite you, or somebody you love him, or you don't want him, maybe you come to your door, you want him to come in, you will open, you don't want him to come in, you will open a little bit the door and say, okay, I am sick, or you send son, wife, to tell him you are not here, then he will come next time, because you don't want to see him, and you don't want him to let him in, inside your house. But if you love him, you will open the door, and you will invite him, and you take him inside. So Alhamdulillah, we should put the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are love us and they let us to be inside. And of course we pray for all the Ummah and the Muslims. And we remember everybody in the every circle. When we went outside, the, I asked them, I said, I want some tabarukat of Jalaf Kaaba, of the Sayyidina Rasul, and this. It was a very long story. <coughs> but some person is the Saudi, when they hear about me, he come. And that time when he came, I was busy and going to the program for Dikr there in Medina. So he joined with us and was from program in some place, Zawiya. And when he asked me, I said, they not give me any tabaruka. They said, no, I will call them the mother of these people. And she is very love of Sheikh Abdul Qadir. Then she said, okay, uh, I'm sorry about this, and I'm sending to the Sheikh the long piece of the Kaaba three meters for the Barakah and let him press for me. And other small, small piece. And I say, uh, also we went in the Medina to the house of Mutawalli of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallam, he the key, his name is Nuri Al-Habashi. And he invited us and he, we have a lunch in his house with some Pakistani and Indian breeds. Then uh, he gave me the ring. He said the ring, it is from the inside of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then after this we received the chatter of the Sayyidina Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the green one. 
And also we have the water for Muslim Kaaba at the time when they clean the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have this water in the small bottles. And also we receive the chadar small one black for Hajar al Aswad from back. Even they give the line and the needles when they stick in the Gulafi camps. The same one they give us. We have alhamdulillah all these things. But today, inshallah, we will have the ziyara of the Gulafi of Kaaba, the long one, three meters. Because this Gulaf tomorrow he's going to Baghdad. But we will have other pieces. This is also one of the pieces of Gulaf of Kaaba from the long Yahya And there is other, other pieces. Alhamdulillah. This all by the blessing of the Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani. The everything come to us free. Without paying anything. There is a lot of people there. They have paying to buy it. They say hadiyah, gift. But they paying very high amount. But everything come to us, I think about more than six pieces. It was free. Because of the family names, the Sheikh Abdul Qadir, and the his lovers, and they say we are all for the Sheikh Abdul Qadir. Alhamdulillah, too many people we have seen there. Even in the mosque in the Mecca, we don't talk. People come, and they know me and everywhere. But I was just hurry. I don't want to make uh, to let anyone to look after me much because these people, when they see the Sheikh or too much. Then uh, they have to block his names next time, no visa. But Alhamdulillah, we sugar, everything was okay. And they said to me, Sheikh, you are the Iraqi, and I'm sure you are the first one from members of your family, from the Gailani. Since a hundred of hundred of hundred years, you have been the inside. Second thing, he's a Sunni, and he knows. He said, there is no any Sheikh here. From the Mashaikh of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jamaah have been there before. And you are the first one, you have been from the Mashaikh of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jamaah. And this is the blessing from the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jailani, in the end, he wants me to be inside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> So Alhamdulillah, all the mashaykh in my head, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he wants you to be entered inside the house. <coughs> Not other sheikh or name sheikh or other one. The sheikh, the peer, he have a response responsible to work and to look after the Muridin. This is the amana. Subhanallah. To help them. All the awliya, they are a famous for a religious way, a spiritual weather, to help the murid, to talk with the murid when he is in the bad situation with the poor and the rich. But now you open the door for the rich and you close the door for the poor. This is a bad thing. Alhamdulillah, when we go to the Pakistan, we sit for all of them. And even I go to the last time to the Kari Sharif in the house Miyaz al -Fiqar. So he was a response. I, he said, Fulan, Fulan, they want. I say, see, I would meet everybody but make systems. So I sit in the hall and he bring all the people, women and men, poor or rich. I don't know, he's a poor or rich, but I have to pray for them, for all them. Alhamdulillah, this is the blessing from the Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jalani, Sultan al Awliya, and the Bukh al Aftal. We have been in this place, in this martaba, in this dungeon. And uh, what he said to me, you are a first Shaykh belong from Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah, and you have been inside by your table. They say, try to the any Shaykh, he come inside, they will reject him, they will not give it. They will not give him any chance, even visa to come in this country. But they say, I believe 
because your dada Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani, your grand Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jailani have arranged all this weather and you've been and you went and you come back like close and open eyes. Wallahi, it was not in my mind, but I my near. I was on the road and somebody called an arrangement and go on and come back. Otherwise, maybe there will be trouble and no. With Alhamdulillah and everybody might be with me, my blue topi and the yellow topi also with me, I went inside. Even the cloth, you've been inside Allah house, what does it mean this? You have to save that cloth. And you have to keep in your house. And they say that cloth has been with my body inside the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala house. People they say, believe me, Sheikh, I go Umrah and Hajj, I can't touch Kaaba. You want inside? I go Umrah and I go Hajj, but I cannot touch the Kaaba. But you run, you've been inside. The second thing, when we start Umrah twice, two times, I want to kiss Hajj al-Aswad, it was very crowded. And you know, when you are Muhtamar, you cannot push and Muzahamah. So I never kiss al hajar twice. Twice Amrah, two times, but when we start only for Salam, Allahu Akbar, and we start the Amrah. But in the day when the Ghusl al they give way, and I, only me and Hajar al-Aswad, nobody will think. <laughs> so I put my head very easy care, and carefully for the respect and the love, and I remember the Sayyidina Amr al Khattab, they say, you are a stone. You are a hajar, you will not help me, but I have to kiss you because I am fellow with the Rasulullah. I have seen him kiss you, so I have to kiss you. This is one of the mashair from the Ahlul Sunnah and Muslims and lover for Rasulullah. I have to start by the hajar. So we kiss al hajar al aswad, and after this, I went inside. But every time when I have work, everything is shaking. Now when I'm going, how I go up inside, we said, no, anyone, he's an angel, he's come without a mistake. But now you have been the inside and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if you come to the Hajj and Allah accept your Hajj like you are born from the new, new born. So Alhamdulillah, this is not the Hajj, this is inside the house, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have been praying from the inside. We have seen too many things from the inside. And we can serve, alhamdulillah, wa shukur. And with the gift, everybody they go and they come, but without any gift. But alhamdulillah, all the gift, all the respect, all the love, what I find there, because of my grand Sheikh Abdul Qadir. Subhanallah. Wallahi from everyone, every family, all the people around me, by chance, by the arrangement, I have seen them there. In Mecca and in the Medina. Alhamdulillah, wa shukur. It was very blessed time and blessing time. So the blessing maqam. Maqam Sayyidina Rasul and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is a five door. In this life, there is a five. Just I was talking a few minutes before with Haji Abdul Qayyum. And I say to him, there is a five doors. It is a strong and very, very strong door for the Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. First door, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doors. Second door, the Sayyidina Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa Third door, the Sayyidina Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib. Fourth door, the Imam Sayyidina Al Hussein alayhi wa sallam. And the fifth door, the Sultan Al Awliya, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jailani, Al Hassani, and Al Hussein. Few days before, I was talking with somebody, and I said, I've been three doors, inshallah, two left for me. Alhamdulillah, now I've been four, and one left for me. The door of the Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jailani, I start. Then start for Imam Sayyidina Ali. Then Imam Al Hussein, and now Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala house. And left for the Sayyidina Rasulullah and inshallah I'm sure I'm afraid they will be there. And they will be arranged in it. Inshallah. So this is the five door for the Muslims. For the love of the Ali Bayt Rasulullah. Qurba meaning the family where in the Holy Quran. 
Kul bawir, the family of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Imam Sayyidina Ali, when they say Sayyidina Rasul, Ana Madiyatul Ilm, wa Ali Yumbadiha, I am the the knowledge, I am the knowledge of the Islam, the city. There is a city with the knowledge, and that city knowledge, Ali ibn Abi Talib, it is a door of that city. So if you want to enter in the Islam knowledge, you have to go through the Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib doors. It is not a small door, it is a big door, because that door, it is a door of the city knowledge for the Islam through Sayyidina Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Naray Hadri! Naray Hadri! In the Muharram, people, they start go by work and they, they think, uh, and, uh, and I have received a lot of the news from my sister, Ibn Bradford. They want Matam and they show on the YouTube movie uh, Matam by Zinjil, played like this. I don't know. I see them in the YouTube. In this country and the other country, Arab and Muslims. But 50, more than 50%, they are alive people. They are not a right people. They are not true people. Somebody they are stolen, then drinking, somebody killing, and this and that. In the time of Muharram, they remember Sayyidina Imam al Hussein. If they say Sayyidina Imam al Hussein, he was alive, all these people, they say, Baba, go back, first make your amal, okay, then come back to me. They are not in the right way. They remember Imam Sayyidina al Hussein in the Muharram, so where are you all these years? We are the Ahlu Sunnah wa Jama'ah, we remember the family of Rasulullah 24 hours, not every day. Every program, every Saturday, every Friday, every Jum'ah, every praying, when we say Allahumma salli ala Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala Sayyiduna Muhammad from the heart. Because we are the Ashqin for Adibayt Rasulullah. They are not praying. And they start to go to the Muharram and they do matam. What is this? Where is the law? Your law, when you pray, and that time you have to say the Durud Salaam, for Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the family of Sayyidina Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if the Imam Sayyidina Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is alive, and these people come to them, they say, Baba, go, do your prayer, because uh, the first thing in your, as salatu ala awqatihim. And the Arkanal Islam, first thing, after the shahadat, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, as salat. So all them, they are not to pray another, and uh, even if they want to pray without Huda. And they don't know how he will start Huda. And they gone by walk. And just, just uh, last week he was drinking and they go after this to Ziyad Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. I have seen a lot of people there in Karbala and Najat like this. And a lot of Sunni, they are a partner. They want with them, but from the heart of the Ishaq. But they scared to say that I am a Sunni. They think Imam Sayyidina al Hussein, it is only for the Shia, not for the Sunnah. But the Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, what they have, they believe, and the love, it is more than Shia, because they make the love of Imam Sayyidina al Hussein like a politics. Just to reach what they want to reach. They go through politics, through election, and this and that. Oh, Imam al Hussein said this. Oh, Imam Sayyidina Ali said this. So all the people, they are small. And they have to believe them and they follow them. But they are fellow shaitan. These people, when they say that the Yamat day will come, they will be into the religious place, but that place, it was unreligious. A religious alam, but the man who is not religious alam. So these people, they are a bad guidance. They are a misguidance. They will miss your guidance. To the Islam, to the belief, to the aqidah of Sayyidina Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa So everybody in the Muharram when they will watch, okay, I will do, I will do my dhikr, my ibadah, my praying, my fasting to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I give my fast to the Imam al Hussein. But I have to bled, and I don't know how this starts. And how it started from Iran. And who is Iran? Pharisee. And Pharisee, it was big enemy for the Muslims. The Pharisee, the country of the Pharisee, it was big enemy for the Muslims. They want to destroy Islam from that time. 
And they have too much belief different. Even they are belief for the fire. Narul uh, Najus, they say. And too much they think come and they mix it with the Islam. And in that time, they make it for the Imam Sayyidina Al Hussein now and Imam Sayyidina Ali. But Alhamdulillah, well, shukr lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are in the right way to love all the Ali Bayt Rasulullah and the family Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah, we will keep in this way till the Qiyamah. We follow them and everybody they've been to the ziyarat of them. Of course, when they will come back, they will find what we have found. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد عليه أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم